So um, let's look at more options from that far sleeve grip when we have the Delahiva hook. So um, up until now we've looked at off balancing to the side. So I managed to get my, my strong Delahiva hook in and I have this far sleeve, sleeve grip. We were grabbing the back of the pants and then from that position I was turning into the, the side tilt model. And again, trying to make um, Tyrone off balance by getting him down to the side. That's one option. If he puts his weight on the other leg, we were looking at overheads. Okay. Well, maybe you just suck. Just turn this way, bro. Maybe you suck at burn bolas, and, and maybe you just can't off balance. We have a really good grip here, this far sleeve grip. So we're going to switch um, from Delahiva to sit up guard. Again, probably sit up guard is probably the best guard in Jiu Jitsu for sweeping people. So, the grip's going to change from the pants to the heel. The reason I do that, if I just keep the pants, when I push him to Rung's hip to sit up, he can try and withdraw his um, right foot. Yeah. I see there's a wee bit of play there, take it back a step. Because there's a lot of play in this grip. Whereas, if I'm here and, I just, and I'm making the switch, this is great for off balancing. We address why this grip is so good. But I'm going to sit up guard, I just release and find the heel and I pull it towards me. So now when I go to sit up guard and I do the same move and Tyrone tries to withdraw his leg, it's just not happening. Now, when we get the sit up guard, I'm not pushing on the thigh, okay? Um, well, let me just turn this way, bro. If I didn't have this grip and I'm just pushing somewhere between his hip and his knee, the minute I start to sit up, Tyrone can stuff this leg. Whereas, if I'm here and I do the movement, there's just like a wee shelf there. It's more difficult to do. Not that that's important, because obviously I'm going to have this grip anyway. But for um, just um, a secure place for my foot, this is better. So from our position, once I push on this hip, I don't want to be using my core to sit up. I'm using Tyrone's momentum of, move, of moving back to pull me up. Once I pull myself up, I'm disengaging and my Delaheva hook heel comes, so I want my left heel towards my butt. And now my arm is wrapping around. I want the crook of my arm um, wrapped around his knee. So if Tyrone tries to turn his knee into me, I can kind of move him a little bit to the side. Hard to see this visually, but anytime I'm, um, I don't want Tyrone knee slicing me. I want to be filling this space and sit up guard. So anytime his knee does drive in, I can actually turn and now his knee isn't actually driving into me, it's bypassing me a little bit. So I want this part of my arm around his knee when I make the transition to sit-up guard. So we have our Delahiva hook in. And again, maybe I couldn't get the Delahiva hook in. We talked about how when we were playing this position, we were using this leg press and knee shield to sort of move my hips back to be able to put my Delahiva hook in. So sometimes if you actually can't get the Delahiva hook in, we can go straight to sit up guard. So I want to be keeping my foot in the hip, arm comes around, and now from that position, once my arm controls the leg, now I don't need to be as um, detailed about keeping my heel to my butt. Then we're going to do that little pass off, so I pass from my right to my left. Again, this isn't in the instruction, but when we're playing um, Della X, you know, Tyrone would be hand fighting from there. So an option is just to, instead of passing off, grab your own wrist and just push it between his legs. Then we do the pass off grip. Then we find the collar. And again, from that position, I'm putting Tyrone's shoulder here. Pulling on the collar, pushing with my foot on his hip to take him straight over onto the side. So option one is I take him onto the side. We'll look at it the basis with his hands in a minute. I'm keeping these grips, and now from this position, I'm coming up to my knees. Once I'm in that position, I'm going to feed through. Cradle pass is always a good option from there. And I get my elbow behind the back of his head, bringing his knees towards his chest. First knee comes in, second knee comes in, on the underhook. Control. So, from our position, maybe I was trying to look for the Delahiva hook, I snagged that grip, or um, 
things we're doing from the the collar and sleeve guard maybe I have this grip and I haven't got that grip Tyrone's hiding it if I can just throw in a lasso and now from here for him to actually pass my guard he has to stop this leg and then he does now I have the grip I want so I can go back to Dalahiva or if I choose to I can make this transition to sit up guard so again once I once I disengage my Dalahiva hook and my heel comes around I want the crook of my arm around his arm by my wrist just stop it between his nuts, switch grips, find the collar, and now it's all about me pulling with my hand and pushing with my right foot and I'm taking Tyrone directly to my side. Once I get him down from this position, I come up to my knees, I can thread through the grip and then I just get my elbow behind the back of his head a back step I'm bringing him like a ball bring my knee back in second knee comes in from the underhook and replaces my right knee and then I can move to the other side so that is our first sweep from sit up guard John Thomas calls it a base sweep it gets other names ball and chain chain and ball